from all over the world have been debating the status of one of the planets in our solar system. Is it a planet? Is it not a planet? You earthlings, residents of Ithaca, Ithacanarian Ulianites, you listen to the scientific facts laid out in the song. You decide for yourself. Is it a planet? Or is it a planet? In Arizona, at the turn of the 20th century, astromathematician Percival Lowell was searching for what he called Planet X, because he knew deep down in his soul that an unseen gravitational presence meant a new planet spinning in the air, joining the other eight already known, circling our sun up there. But Percival Lowell died in 1916, his theory, only a theory, till 1930 when Clyde Tom Baugh, in a scientific query, discovered Planet X, 3.7 billion miles from our sun, a smallish ball of frozen rock, methane and nitrogen. It joined Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Our solar system's newest neighbor, two-thirds the size of our moon. Tiny, fairly visible speck, cold, minus 440 below. Not exactly paradise. They named the planet... Right! That same year, 1930, Walt Disney debuted his own Pluto as well. But a cartoon dog with the very same name as the CEO of Hell. All that was not your normal Disney style. Most thought he was riding the coattails of Plutomania sweeping the land. Not unlike our modern love for manatees and whales. For the next five decades, mysterious Pluto captivated our minds. As late as 1978, its own moon Charon was seen for the very first time. But now, telescopes and satellites and computer calculations say that Pluto may not be a planet at all, creating great consternation. Some scientists say that Pluto is a trans interloper swept away by an unknown force or a remnant of a wayward comet somehow sucked off course others say pluto is an asteroid in the sun's gravitational pull but if you had asked clyde tomba he would have told you that's all bull i get hundreds of letters from kids every year he says it's pluto the planet they love it's not pluto the comet it's not pluto the asteroid they wonder about above. And at the International Astronomical Union Working Group for Planetary System Nomenclature. And that is a real club. <laughs> they too said Pluto is a planet, reinforcing Clyde Tombaugh's view of nature. Norwegian Carrie X News, professor at the Theoretical Astrophysics Institute. He too said Pluto is a planet, and a significant one to boot. But at the University of Colorado astronomer Larry Esposito says if Pluto were discovered today it would not be a planet. End of discussion finito. Now I just gotta take a break in the middle of this song. I wrote this in 1996. Ten years before it actually happened, that Pluto got demoted, inspired by a newspaper article that ran March 4th, 1996 in USA Today. The one thing I didn't know was who actually wrote this newspaper article, so I emailed USA Today, and they gave me the name of the writer's name is Sal Rubel. He's actually a sports writer. <laughs> He was never a science writer, but it was a passion of his, the whole story of Pluto. And he's the guy who saw this happening 10 years before it actually did. So, <laughs> if we can bring the lights up, every other person can get a copy of the lyrics, and 
On top of that, I'm gonna call Sal Rubel. He's at home. And we're gonna sing it to him over the phone. She's holding her cell phone up to the microphone. Oh, Sal, are you there? I'm here. Hey, Sal, it's Christine. Hi, Christine, how are you? Good, let's all say one, two, three. Hi, Sal. One, two, three. Hi, Sal! Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it all the way without the phone. <laughs> well, Sal, your dream is going to come true. Everyone here, I'm at WVBR, the Bound for Glory radio show with Phil Shapiro, and we're handing out the lyrics to Planet X, and we're going to sing it to you. We're going to start on page two. End of discussion, finito. Here we go. He says that Pluto was definitely not spun off from solar matter like the other eight planets we know. By every scientific measurement we have, is Pluto a planet? No. Now, astronomy textbooks refer to Pluto as less than a planet. I guess if Pluto showed up at a planet convention, the bouncer would be forced to ban it. St. <laughs> Christopher is looking down on this, and he says, Pluto, I can relate. When I was demoted from sainthood, I gotta tell you, little buddy, it didn't feel real great. And Scorpios look up in dismay, cause Pluto rules their sign. Is now reading near daily horoscope, just a futile waste of time. It takes 248 Earth years for Pluto to circle our sun. It's tiny and it's cold, but all the heavenly bodies it was Clyde Tombaugh's favorite one. Till he was 92, he worked every day in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Determined to maintain the planetary status of his beloved Pluto. But how now do we deal with this? Scientists think they have proof that Pluto is never a planet. How do we handle this truth? Some PhDs still disagree. Who is wrong? Who is right? But wherever you are, whatever you are, Pluto, we know you're up there tonight. In the year 2016, you're going to see the new Horizons Express. Fly by and take pictures of your way cool surface to send to your webpage address. HTTP colon slash slash dosxxcolorado.edu slash plutohome.html. You've got your own webpage for a little guy. You've made quite a splash. Yes, at the turn of the 20th century, astromathematician Percy Maloa in his quest for Planet X started this ball to roll. But here in the 21st century, we think he may have been a little off base. So we look at the sky and wonder what new surprises await us in outer space. We look at the sky and we wonder. Yes, at the turn of the 20th century, astromathematician Percy Lowell, in his quest for Planet X, started this ball to roll. But at the end of the 20th century, we think he may have been a little off base. So we look at the sky and wonder what new surprises await us in outer space. We look at the sky and we wonder